Reina. Yes. I have a confession to make. I ate kimchi this morning. Oh, that's why you smell. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to What Are Nerdish I'm Suzuka. I'm Reina. Hope you enjoy the real talk with modern Japanese women. Mm. <laughs> Let's <That's laughs> go. <laughs> Today's topic is Kokuhaku. Actually, we got this comment from my uh, one of our friends. Mm -hmm. um, Hi, Remy. Hi, Remy. <laughs> <laughs> so he asked us. He's very curious about how Kokuhaku is done among Japanese people in Japan. Yep. So we're gonna break down what Kokuhaku is today. Yes, yes. So we asked around what's the kokuhaku phrases um, you know people like mm. among Jap Japanese people. And yeah, the result was quite surprising. Yeah. I but very consistent. Yeah, consistent. <laughs> I think everyone likes straightforward mm -hmm. and clear message. Yeah. I think. I, I, I was expecting something more like over the top romantic. Right, like cheesy yeah. phrases, right? So what's the common phrases? Uh, in Japanese, what kokaku? In Japanese, suki desu. Suki desu. Suki desu. I really like you. Mm -hmm. And? And, tsukiyatte kudasai. Uh, will you go out? Go out with me? me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there are some, I, when I was a student, I feel like kokohaku what's more like uh, just say that you like them mm -hmm. and you, you don't necessarily have to like say that you want to go out with them or mm. not right was it that case for you yeah i think a lot of in a lot of cases it already makes you feel so much better um, by the fact that you told them how you feel yeah. and it doesn't really matter if you could actually be with them or not right it's more like yeah. confessing yeah confessing coming out with your true feelings yeah and that already gave us kind of a feeling of accomplishment yeah. i think when you're in a receiving end mm. this kokuhaku is very you know like mm. unclear yeah the, like what what they want from yeah. it you know yeah you, i guess yeah when you're receiving that just a word mm. like i really like you you don't know what to answer, what to, um, what to say. Right. Mm -hmm. Especially like if you wanna like if you're like hundred mm -hmm. percent sure that you want to go out with this person, mm -hmm. it's better to use both phrases like ski this and mm -hmm. Yeah. Make yeah. it a set. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So oh, what are the other phrases? Um, I think this is very. <laughs> Uh, uncommon phrase, mm. but uh, my friend received this kokuhaku, uh, which is ore no onna ni nare. Is uh, it like it's very alpha male type of phrase, yes, yes, isn't yes, it? Yes, it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> be my woman. Yeah. Is it? Is that, yeah. Right. I think <laughs> translation. So. Be my woman. Yeah. <laughs> but it's more like a tsundere type. Yeah. For the audience who are from, I guess. English speaking background, it might sound like kind of ob objectifying woman, which is true, mm. but that doesn't mean it's like negative in Japanese no. culture. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really sound that rude. No. Um, People, very... a lot of girls find it kind of attractive. Mm -hmm. When the guys are being like really assertive, assertive yeah. and dominant. Mm -hmm. but, but I don't recommend you to use it. <laughs> yeah. It's more like a. More like something that you see in an anime yeah, yeah. So you you really have to nail this one right <laughs> so you have to use it with the right person yeah <laughs> you have to kind of have the right character yourself too oh, i think that's true yeah. if a soft-spoken person suddenly so, says yeah. this i would kind of feel surprised and almost kind of i don't know yeah since there's different personality yeah. in that person <laughs> I don't know if it's cringy or like 
like, mm, I don't know. It just feels awkward. Creepy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's creepy, but yeah. A bit weird, right? It weird. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not that person style usually, so. Yeah. Um, we've asked around some anecdotes around Kokuhaku, mm -hmm. and one of my friends um, had this really cute story. Um, about her current boyfriend and how they started going out uh, together. So after a couple of dates, uh, it's one day mm. on their way home from their dinner date. I think it was third date or something. Mm. And he already confessed his love to my friend. Oh, the third date. On oh, the third date. Wow. Yeah. Really and then mm. she wasn't expecting that yeah. to happen so quickly. Mm -hmm. So. And then since they met on the matching app, um, she wasn't completely ready oh. yet. <laughs> was she like seeing other people too? Yeah, um. there were a, a, there was another candidate, potential <laughs> candidate, but that was not going perfectly well. Mm. But you know, since it was going on for a little while, she was she kind of hesitated for a moment mm. when her current boyfriend asked her to be his girlfriend oh. so um, she kind of paused right after he asked the question mm. and she said well <laughs> and then he said oh okay I am very serious about us and if you're not ready or if you think this is just for fun or something that's not going to be a long-term relationship it doesn't work out for me. Mm, so wow. he was very um, clear about what he wants, which was a serious relationship. And that attitude of him mm -hmm. really, really attracted her. Oh. And she immediately forgot about the other guy. <laughs> she said <laughs> yes. yes. And then they're happily wow. together. Wow. Even yeah. though she was hesitated yeah. at first. Wow. Moving on to our mm. personal kokuhaku Haku. stories. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have a boyfriend. Yes, as I have been kind of sharing with <laughs> you guys um, in the previous videos. Mm -hmm. How did you guys um, mm. become official? So, since he's not a Japanese person, we kind of had that dating period. Mm. So about uh, two, months, two months, I think. Mm. And it was a Christmas. Mm. Uh, we went out for a nicer date than <laughs> nicer. <Yeah>. Yeah, <laughs> usual. <laughs> and we were having a great time. Mm. Um, after we finished eating dinner, I sensed <laughs> that he was kind of trying to pop the question. Ooh, pop the question! <laughs> 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 But, you know, <laughs> just to start official relationship. Mm. Uh, but it was under the state of emergency. We had to get out of the restaurant right away. Oh, so so the waiter, Yeah, the waiter oh. interrupted us, him. And we kind of lost the timing. We oh. kind of started talking about something else on our way home. And we went back to my apartment. We were just, I don't know, I guess I was taking a shower or something. And then when I went back to my room, he was working on his computer, looking sideways. He wasn't even facing me. No. <laughs> but he said that, um, would you like to be my girlfriend? And oh. I was like, We'll definitely cover it <laughs> <laughs> around Christmas. Our Christmas. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> Recently, uh, yeah, recently, recently, most recent one. The most recent uh, one. 
if you've seen our videos, I think you already know that I was single AF, and then, uh, <laughs> and, uh, but I was seeing someone, um, that I met on, um, dating app, mm -hmm. and after a month, mm -hmm. um, he asked me to go on a trip to, a uh, beach, Yay, and then, beach uh, <laughs> on that trip, mm -hmm. uh, we were on, uh, lying down on the beach, <laughs> at the beach. At the beach. Yeah, chilling. Just chilling. <laughs> and then um, I was asking him questions, mm -hmm. and I think one of the questions was, like, because he's a very sweet person, so I was, uh, you know, is there something I can do for you? And like, I was just asking like uh, weird questions <laughs> at the time, and he was like, oh, nothing, but maybe like, yeah, we'll be my girlfriend. And I was like, very sweet. Coco <laughs> Hakko that I ever received in my life. Oh, that's so sweet. He knows the Japanese culture. Yeah. And he just wanted to do it in the best way that yeah. would make you happy. Yeah, he was very, yeah, perfect. Uh, oh. perfect. But yeah. <laughs> I'm dying here. <laughs> so, no, I'm so cute. So cute. So our partners are both non Japanese, right? Mm. And they. They are very considerate enough to cater our culture, Kokaku mm. culture, into their communication style. Yeah. Oh, I think it's really sweet because yeah. sometimes, like, because uh, because in other cultures, mm. Kokaku is not really uh, common. Mm. Uh, it's very difficult for us to know what's going on, and I think a lot of like the people that I ask, mm. especially like, very emphasize on like how important to like communicate. The, their feeling. Uh, I think people are get turned off when the other person is very like, un you know, giving you a mix, uh, mixed message. Messages, yeah. yeah, true. It's very confusing if mm. the person is not really clear about what they're going for with the, yeah. with the relationship. Yeah. I mean, Remy asked us, like, where's the best place to do Gokaku? But oh. What do you think? The common thing among Japanese people are like just on the street. On the street. Oh, yeah, like on the way on their way home from dinner or something. Or oh, date. when you're alone. Yeah, when they're, they're alone. alone. Okay. Yeah, so when they have like a it's it's in a public space, but mm -hmm. they feel that they're alone. Yeah. Yeah, and relatively quiet uh, mm -hmm. place. But in my case, it was in my apartment. I was completely fine, and I don't mind getting gokuhaku anywhere. To yeah, be I guess. The, yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, I think the, the place doesn't really matter as long as. Yeah. The place <laughs> was on the beach, though. <laughs> That's so special. Though. <laughs> that was really yeah. yeah. Uh, you can make it very special too, yeah. but uh, the place doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, what about you guys? <laughs> what do you think about gokuhaku culture in Japan? Uh, let us know in our comment section below. Yes. If you like today's video, please smash the like button and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And also let us know about like what you want us to talk about mm -hmm. this channel. Uh, Anything Japanese culture related? Yes. Anything more personal about us? Yeah. <laughs> let us know. Let us know. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.